guys how are you doing i hope you are doing good i am fine um thank you for asking <laughs> i am at cresta mall right now i'm going back to game again to fix the whole issue with my refund for the laptop i couldn't find the slip but i have a feeling that lady took it on the day when i brought the laptop but they say they made a copy but i don't know um i i'm gonna go print out the banking statement for that month hopefully that one works because when i was reading up on the consumer protection act it says that i am protected even though i don't have a slip if the item that i'm returning was faulty due to the manufacturer or the seller and it's not my fault so they should give me a refund the only time that some shops would not give you a refund is if um the item you are returning is still fine and you're just returning it because you don't have a desire for it anymore or maybe you want to i don't know something you want to exchange something that is not faulty then they can say they're not gonna help you because you don't have a tail slip but it says that um even though you don't have a tail slip but you have a, a bank statement because you paid with a card and the item is faulty not due to you they should be able to help you with your refund i hope that is the case and then from there i must go get some shampoo and the hair i need passion twist that i need to put on top of the locks that i bought because i need i want to do what do you call it butterfly locks so when i was looking on youtube it says that you must twist or you must wrap it around with passion twist so i must go get that i went to renbeck square and it was very expensive so i'm gonna go back to africa cash and carry and look for it because that's where people stock the people who sell hair i'm just having some iron brew that's where they stock the hair so it's cheaper there like the locks that i bought they were like 70 something rents whereas a packet in like Bram or these other shops is like 150 and like the small bundle and the one that i bought was like two big bundles in one so yeah anywho let me go sort that out i need to first find like a post net or something to print out the thing yeah they gave me back my money they gave me back all of it to the last rand look all of it to the last rand can you see it <laughs> they gave me back everything so you know what i've noticed actually about um customer service they will try by all means to not give you back your money and you need to be smart so um yesterday when my sisters told me that i should print out the bank statement i was like hmm okay cool sharp but then in my head this morning i was like i think they will still try to dispute it and i tested the theory when i got there i said to the lady i can't find the slip but i have the bank statement which says it has the number and it has how much i paid and then says to me, yeah, but we don't have, we, we still need to attach the original um, copy. I'm like, but you guys made a copy of my slip. They're like, no, but they sent it back to the manufacturer when they, when they um, took the laptop in for repairs. So I'm like, oh, okay. So if you send it back to the manufacturer, it's fine. Because even though I don't have a slip, if you give me back my money, the manufacturer is still going to refund you guys. Because they also have a warranty with the manufacturer. So either way, why are they not wanting to give me back my money? And I'm like, I don't want a store voucher. I'm not looking to buy anything here. I'm just about done with your guys' service. So I'm not going to buy anything here. So I want my money cash or back in my account. So then they're like, mm, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, 
now let's pull out the consumer protection act um part so i'm like so uh, oh okay and i read up on the consumer protection act and it says blah 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 like i told you guys earlier and then her now she, that's that's when she was the tone changed she went to go speak to the store manager i can hear them on the other side the store manager's like okay just take the the proof of the the bank statement and print it out and then attach it to her refund policy slip and give her back her money i'm like so when you know your rights as a consumer you will get everything you want you will get your money back as a consumer when you know your rights so know your rights guys know your rights and they know these things they know these things because they are they are a retail store they work with the consumer protection act because it protects the consumer and it also protects them in some instances so they know it but they will not tell you until you go and find it out yourself so you must read these things when you purchase stuff i learned that lesson today and i got all my money back and then i went to i store and i wanted to buy a macbook but then the guy have advised me to come back in january when they have the new version of the macbooks they're gonna have them in january so it was asking me rather not buy the old ones um rather not buy the old ones and then i wanted i asked them if they have a pre pre-owned pre-loved section here they don't have but i know it's sentin city they do have a pre-loved uh section so i'm still gonna decide if i'm gonna buy the new version if i'm buying the new version in january of course it's gonna be a new brand new one but then if i buy an old version he advised me to rather buy a pre-loved and not pay so much for a new like a brand new one that's never been used but then they are pushing it out because they've made new ones so it's better to buy a pre-loved of the old ones or buy the new version like a brand new one so i'm gonna decide that throughout december then maybe by when i get paid on the 20th of january oh now you guys know my pay date why do i talk too much then i will decide if i'm getting pre-loved of the old version or brand new of the new version but for now i am going to africa cash and carry in crown mines to get the passion twist and shampoo see you guys later At this point, this is a car vlog. It's uh, vlogging in my car because I've been talking to you only here.
so let me show you guys what i bought i am at africa cash and carry who the queue i need to pee and i'm so hungry i bought this palmolive egg classic egg conditioner shampoo um i bought a detangling brush the passion twist I bought a scissor for my sister because we can't seem to find her scissor in the house. I bought Astros, I bought Rolos, and licorice. All oh, this seven rand, seven rand, seven rand. That's how cheap it is here. We pay like 11 to 12 rands for this at Picket Bay, and then you pay at least 13 rands at the garage. So, yeah, all I spent was like 180 for all this stuff. So anywho, I am going to the house and I think I'm going to buy myself some wings so I can eat them with um, with my side eye. I still have one Hunter's Gold that I left from yesterday. And then I am a homebody. I want to wash my hair, blow dry it, and then I must stretch my jeans. So I'm going to Google how to stretch jeans because I bought those dragons. My sister bought them for me and they're kind of tight. But I'm gonna stretch them. And the thing about Mr. Price jeans, after two or three washes, they stretch anyways. So I'm gonna stretch them. I'm gonna Google. Google is my friend. For now, let me let me get going. I need a pee. I'm back. I'm going home now. I bought myself some chicken licking. And I went to pick and pay to get a shampoo because I just realized that one was not a conditioner shampoo. It was just a conditioner only. But it's fine. And I still need to pee. Because I'm not about to pee. On the public toilet. Just one for the road. It's so hot. I didn't buy a drink. Okay, let's go home. I'm back home now and I can finally relax. I just made the house look neat and everything. So now I'm sitting and I'm about to eat and watch TV. I'm so tired. They're getting sauce today. I don't know which notes come with sauce and which don't. But normally they don't give sauce. But they normally give you sauce. What? Chili sauce. Mm. No. Oh, they didn't give me sauce. It's ketchup. Ah. You know what? Mm. 
Eu vou dizer que tenho atenção, acho isso. Então, não, 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 Nike, please bring the mouse and connect it. Huh? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Mouse, call Nike's mouse. 